guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Carolina. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out some new cream blushes. I'm so excited because these just look so pretty online. And I really wanted to test them out for you guys. These are the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Blushes and as well as the Kajal Beauty Blushes I just came out with. These actually come with two. I'd actually already picked up the Fenty Beauty Blushes before but I haven't tried them out and then I saw that Kajal Beauty came out with these ones so I wanted to try them out and compare them and see which ones I like more. If you guys are interested and want to see me trying out some cream blushes, just keep watching. I did pick these up from Sephora and I really wanted to try them out because I've never tried any cream blushes before. But I saw these and they just look so cute and I loved the shade that I really wanted to try it out. I'm going to start with Fenty Beauty. I have her new little blushes right here, her cream blushes, so the cheeks out blushes and they're so cute um when i got this i thought this was going to be so so much bigger than this these are actually really tiny you guys can see like the difference it's so so tiny uh the bronzers are 6.23 grams or um, 0.22 ounces and her blushes are uh, 3 grams, so 0 0.10 ounces. I picked up these two because they just are the ones that stood out the most to me. So I have Strawberry Drip, which is 05, and it's a beautiful, like, strawberry pink. And then I also have this one. This one's Petal Popping 02, and this one's just, like, a gorgeous, like, baby pink. Um, it looked a little bit more coral online and in person it looks more like baby pink but it's still really really pretty. I did swatch those two in the back of my hand so I have powder popping and strawberry daiquiri and they're so so pretty. And then the Kajab Beauty ones, these ones are also super tiny, they're actually a little bit smaller than the Fenty Beauty one. So if you guys can see them. And it actually comes with two, and you also got a cute little mirror right here. I picked up this one because it came with two shades. So you have like a lighter shade and then a more darker shade. And I really like this one. This one is the 01 Juicy Watermelon. These ones retail for $20 each, so it's pretty pricey. Um, but she has so many shades on here. She has, let's see, like 10 shades on here, and they're all so, so pretty. Oh, this says that it's a sweat and water resistant formula. Oh, that's really good. I didn't even know this was like sweat and waterproof. Um, and it just says it's really easy to blend. It gives you like a beautiful glow from within. And on um, just the suggested usage, it says to apply it with fingertips or a brush for a healthy looking blush on the cheeks. You can even put this on your lips. So Kajal Beauty does have another blush in their collection. Um, and it has like that little heart shape. I don't know if you've seen it. I've seen that one, but I just never picked it up. So these ones are the newer ones that they have. And they do have two shades. So the other one that they have is Sweet Sangria. That one has more of like a Plummy Berry tone to it. So it only has 11 reviews, so it's a newer product by them. And it just says it's an ultra blendable, multifunction, creamy lip and cheek duo for a natural wash of color. That's cool because you could also use this on the lips. It doesn't say that it's sweat or water resistant, so I'm going to assume that it's not. This one retails for $18, so you get two for $18, which I thought that was good and they're smaller but honestly like with these kind of products you don't need to use a whole lot i want to try all four shades on my cheeks and then i'll just put the one that i like the most um to finish off the rest of my makeup um so i'm going to start off with the fenty beauty on this side and then do kajal on this side um so i'm going to start with the lightest one which is petal poppin and I'm going to use my fingers first. I'm going to go in with this beauty sponge to see if we can like build it up. Um, and again, I'm just going to use my fingers. I want to tell you guys, the Kajal Beauty one, I did swatch them right here. Um, this is the one on the top and then this one is the one at the bottom. Um, these ones are actually a little bit more sheer and they look a little bit more creamy than the Fenty Beauty one. Um, it looks like... This one, the Kajal Beauty, you, I feel like you definitely are going to have to set it. I like to put blush right in the front and then 
bring it back. So that's what I'm going to do. Ooh, that's pretty. Because I don't love a lot of blush, but this is just a nice little flush to the cheek. It looks really pretty. Uh, I'm going to take the little beauty sponge and I'm just going to see if I can build this up. Have some right there. Yeah, I could definitely build it up. That looks really pretty. This added even more glow to the skin. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this one on this cheek so you guys can compare like the colors. This one's definitely brighter. Oh my god, I'm gonna just take my finger. And it feels so creamy. It feels really lightweight, like I don't even feel like I have anything on my cheeks. Oh, this color is so pretty. Yeah, this color you can definitely see more. It's just like a brighter shade. I'm actually going to take my little blush brush. Oh yeah. So the brush definitely adds more color to it. This is a little bit too much blush for me, for my preference. I don't love a whole, whole lot of blush. I'm going to take my little beauty sponge and just see what it looks like if I just blend this on top. And I'm just going to use the side so I don't get any of this shade. See, this will like maybe sheer it out. Yeah, I definitely sheared it out. The beauty sponge does like retain more product and like absorb more in the product um so my preference i would probably apply cream blushes with a beauty sponge beauty blender i'm gonna try the kajal beauty one now i'm gonna do again my finger so i'm gonna take the first shade on top this one's definitely more sheer and as you can see it's so pretty it's pretty Yeah, this one's more my color. This one definitely needs to be built up. Just gives the cheek a nice flush. Again, I'm just going to take the beauty sponge and just see if I can build this up. Yeah, it builds up a little bit. Not too much, though. I'm going to try this lighter shade. I'm going to go in with the brush first and just see what that looks like. Oh yeah. This one definitely reminds me of the Fenty Strawberry Daiquiri one. It's really pretty. Very pigmented. I'm going to go ahead and take the sponge and just blend it out a little bit more and see if I can bring down the color a little bit. So I feel like the color went down a little bit, just blended it out a little bit more with the sponge. But I definitely like the first shade. I'm going to just add a little bit of this on this side just to see what it looks like mixed together. And I'm just going to use my sponge so it doesn't get like too, too intense. So I just have a little bit right there. I kind of like this concept more than just one blush because then for this one you can like wear it by itself, you can like mix and match. Okay loves, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed me trying out these cream blushes by Fenty Beauty and Kajal Beauty. I really like all of them, uh, but my favorite one is definitely the one that I'm wearing right now which is petal pop it. It's just like the perfect blush shade for me. I can add just a little bit to get just a little bit of flush of color on the cheeks just really quickly with like my fingers 
or I can build it up with a beauty sponge and just like really get it a little bit more intense. So I'm really happy with these blushes. Yes, they are a little bit pricey, but I feel like these will last you for such a long time. I'm also wearing this shade on my lips and I just think it looks so pretty, especially like just how it matches like the lips with the cheeks and I just love, love this color. As far as the Kajab Beauty one, they're really nice. I feel like if you had more dry skin, you would really like this formula a little bit more. I feel like it's a little bit more creamy than the Fenty Beauty one. This one didn't really like dry down or anything like that. I feel like you would definitely have to like set this with a powder, either like something translucent or a shade that's like similar to these. Um, so it doesn't like move around but I wouldn't wear this on its own unless you have like really really dry skin then go for it but if you have like combination oily skin definitely set it but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video me trying and testing out these cream blushes don't forget I do have a giveaway going on on my channel so if you're interested and want to see all the giveaway goodies that I'm giving away I will leave a link to the video down below so you can check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you are notified when I upload videos. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.